Hello, so this is going to be the first in a series of videos uh, documenting the design of a 250 pound combat robot. Uh, so I've loved BattleBot since I was very little. I had, like I remember in elementary school, I had a book of all the different BattleBot designs. I studied that thoroughly. And now is a chance that I can actually uh, sit down and design one and try to get on the ABC show. And um, all I've done is one pound combat robot, so I don't have experience with the big guy. Uh, with big heavyweights so this is brand new for me we'll see if this turns into a real robot or if I just do the design uh, but I want to try uh, so the main goal going into this was to bring something new to the table if I'm gonna spend the time and money uh, to do a heavyweight robot like this I don't want it just to be an iteration on something else that's already been done before uh, and I, I don't have enough experience in the field to do just like a refinement of one of the traditional spinners or something uh, so I kind of uh, thought about you know different ways you could do locomotion, different um, uh, weapon types, and what I ended up is uh, this really basic, I've got an awesome Lego demo here, uh, the basic concept is to split the robot into two halves, the left and the right half, with a pivot point in the middle, which lets it drive on four wheels uh, forward and backwards like a normal robot, but then also it lets it pivot open so it can strafe side to side. And I figured that this could be a cool um, style of locomotion because when it's pivoted open uh, and when it's strafing, it strafes in an arc. So it could open up and then drive sideways and kind of dr uh, drive in a radius around the opponent to quickly get to the back side of the opponent and then attack uh, on the side that there's not a big scary weapon. So right here you can see the split robot design that I talked about earlier and showed with the Legos. And I wanted to find a way to integrate the weapon into this hinge point. I wanted to use the hinge point as both the locomotion as well as the weapon. Um, so I sketched this. Um, and now I'm a really big uh, fan of grappling robots like C Complete Control. I think they uh, lead to really interesting matches. And so this basically, this design uses that hinge point to form a horizontal clamp out of the whole robot's body. Um, so both these uh, sides can swing closed uh, around the opposing robot and hopefully trap them and then maybe push them around the arena. You also might notice the wheels are different. There are two wheels with horizontal bars spanning between them. Uh, this is a rotary walker setup. I've done a rotary walker setup before for off-road robots. Um, I'm not sure if it will actually be even worthwhile on a combat robot like this. It probably won't, but it's worth. It's unique, it's cool to try. I'll have it in the, in the design for now and it might not make it into the final design. Um, and then I started to sketch out uh, some tube chassis dimensions that could make that uh, above sketch work. Um, I based the dimensions on dimensions from other opposing robots to make sure that this could be large enough to surround them. And uh, tube chassis are easy to build but not very uh, durable, so uh, things might change in the end, but I started to CAD the tube chassis for now. Also, uh, you'll notice it looks like a scorpion. That might not make it in as well, but I do like kind of these more artistic uh, style robots, and I thought that that gave it a cool character. So yeah, like I said before, I did the tube chassis first in CAD. This is uh, one inch square tubing with one sixteenth inch thick uh, walls. It's what Blacksmith uses. Um, I filled it out with the rotary walker mechanism here. The wheels are 10 inches in diameter, which is kind of large. I decided that larger wheels were necessary in order to make the rotary walker mechanism uh, not super thin and small and fragile. Uh, the motors here are amp flow motors with the standard amp flow speed reducers. They're a proven design uh, in combat robots, but the uh, ratio is going to be too fast for my 10 inch wheels, so I have to go and find a different gearbox to use um, with my uh, 10 inch wheels. So I got to get on that, but uh, that's what I did with the sides, and then I got to work on the center pivot point. I uh, did the square steel tubing for that as well, and then looked at it and realized that it's just going to get destroyed, especially because this center area might have to absorb some kinetic energy weapon impacts if we grapple the robot from the front. So uh, I got to redesign this center pivot structure with a different construction method that'll be a little bit more robust and protect the batteries and electronics, which will be in there. So yeah, that's next.